This, my friends, is the key to heaven. This is the key of a Ferrari 458. When it came out in 2010, this car was destroying everything on the market, Ferrari and Enzo included. And I had the opportunity to buy one in 2013, five years after. I'm still loving it. I love the way it looks, I love the way it drives, I love the sound. It's one of the last naturally aspirated V8 of the modern Ferrari. And I think right now it's one of the best cars you can get for the money. You can get one for something as low as $160,000, dollars So if you have the opportunity, strongly recommend it. However, it's really hard to find on the internet the true cost of ownership. And I have here all the invoices for the service, the maintenance, the brake pad, the tires, and other mods I've been doing along the year. So let's go, let's review that together and let's find out what's the true cost of ownership of the Ferrari 458. I bought this car for $265,000, tax and registration included. It's packed with a lot of options, 37,000 worth of options actually. You have the Scuderia Ferrari Shields on Fender, 1500s, Rosso Corsa brake calipers, 1300, 20 chrome shadow wheel rims, 2000, the carbon fiber steering wheels for 4500, but it's really nice. Tachometer in white color, 900. Color upon request for seat piping, 900. Alcantara upholstery for headliner, 800. Diamond stitching pattern for the seats, 3000. Color upon request for special stitching, 500. Full electric seats, 5000. AFS front lightning system, 2000. Front lifter, 4000. Rear parking camera, 3000. iPod installation, 900 and the i5 premium sound system for $5,000. And in addition to these options, I wrapped it in gray, as you can see. Not that I dislike the red, but actually the, the gray is more discreet and it protects the paint. So it cost me $5,000. I bought a lowering spring system, Novitec, for $2,000. Okay, now let's move on to the actual cost of uh, servicing this car. So I bought it with 2,000 miles and now it has 9,000 miles. I use it once, twice a week and I do two or three track days per, per year. Laguna Seca, Sonoma, Thunder Hill, really awesome tracks. So yeah, I really enjoyed the car, um, no compromise. Uh, I really use it as it's supposed to be used. I bought it with uh, a full service, 36 months service. I have the invoice, even though I didn't pay for it. The invoice was for $1,200. And on top of that, I asked for a one-year coverage uh, via Ferrari. The price um, is $4,500. And I think you should do the same. Um, the one-year coverage is really useful if you, have, if you want a peace of mind. And I have a, a funny story to tell you after by the way so what's the price for the annual service okay let's go so i bought it in november 2013 my first full service was one year after 48 months service or 50k miles the change of brake fluid air filter etc the total was two thousand dollars actually one thousand six hundred dollars for the labor cost one year after I paid $1,700 for the service. One year after, in 2017, I paid this time $3,600. They changed gearbox oil, several inspections, filters, etc. And my last service was actually uh, in June. Why in June? Uh, I have no idea why. Anyway, um, I paid Oh, less than $2,000 this time. 
so I guess that's, that was a, a really small service okay and on top of that obviously you need sometimes to change the tires so to give you an idea I change the tires every three track days I can do three track days with one set of tires so the front tires cost the set cost six hundred dollars and the rear set of two tires cost seven hundred dollars a set of brake pad cost seventeen hundred dollars I changed that only once by the way they are carbon ceramic really really efficient and the lifetime is actually pretty pretty good at some point I wanted to switch to regular brake pads but the cost of the transformation was prohibitive it was over fifteen thousand dollars so I prefer to stick with the carbon ceramic in terms of mistakes what I did I did two mistakes with this car the first one small one is that I asked Ferrari to lower the car the car and they suggested me to do what they call the race jack system it lowers the vehicle by 15 millimeters and they do an alignment balance etc and it cost fifteen hundred dollars and actually uh, I didn't see any difference um, I tracked like three days after didn't see any difference and even in terms of look didn't see any difference so that's why I ended up buying a, a set of um, springs to lower the car with Novitec and I really like that um, it looks good and it's really efficient now it's really like if I drive a, a go-kart really good the second mistake really important one is that this model in 2010 when they came out they had huge problem with the gearbox a lot of gearbox were defective and it was under warranty so a lot of Ferrari 458 were serviced and they changed the gearbox within one year the problem with this model is that the previous owner didn't do that and I guess he didn't drive it a lot so it was fine with him but I started to, to drive it and I guess track days didn't help but at some point I broke the gearbox I wasn't able to use a third, five, uh, a third, fifth and seventh gears and I had to, to change the gearbox it was three months after the warranty expired that sucks, yes. And Ferrari didn't want to cover that. Um, even though now you have a seven years warranty in the new car. But I guess they knew that and too bad for me. So I ended up paying a lot. I paid $17,000 to change the gearbox. Compared to $5,000 for the extended warranty Believe me, I was really pissed off. I should have paid for that. But after one year, I guess, without any problem, I was like, no need for that. But it happened, shit happens, and yeah. So basically now I have a really good gearbox. Registration per year, $1,100. What's the value of this car? Based on the millage, I think I can sell it for $175,000. So if you sum up everything, the tires, the brake pads, the services, the true cost of this car per year is $29,000. It's $2,400 per month over the course of five years. So here we go, you have it. It's 2400 bucks per month to own a Ferrari 458 Italia. It worth every single penny. If you have the opportunity, buy one. You won't regret it, believe me. If you liked what you see, subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below, and over and out from San Francisco. See you in the next video.